Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to create a pop-up window with different options. And this pop-up window is going to have different messages and different functions depending on which part of our game creates this pop-up. So for example, if we want to change the color of the background, we press here. It's going to ask us, do you really want to change the color? Then we can press sure, why not? Uh, the colors change. We maybe say maybe not and nothing's going to happen. And if we press another button, for example, quit, we're going to have a different message asking us, do you really want to quit? Then we can press no if we want to stay here or we can press bye bye and uh, it's going to close our application. Oh, and before we begin, one more thing to notice is that whenever we have this pop up here, we cannot press on other buttons. And for that, we're simply using a UI element that is blocking other UI elements. By the way, this video is only going to show you how to set up the canvas and the UI. If you want to see how to make the functionality for the pop up, make sure you click on the link on the top right corner or in the description of this video. So let's begin by right clicking here and creating a UI. I'm going to make an image. Uh, and this image, we are going to here in the anchor presets, we're going to click on the bottom one here, but by pressing Alt and Shift, uh, or even better, this one here, we in the stretch on the bottom part. So we just press that there, and you'll see that it's going to automatically fill the bottom of our screen. Um, and before we set the height for this, I want to go to the canvas and change from constant pixel size to scale with screen size. That's going to uh, make it dynamic for different phones. In this case, I'm trying to make a mobile game. Um, so, and I want to match the width of most phones, which is uh, 180. Sorry, my keyboard is a little bit uh, weird. And uh, since we're matching the width, we can ignore the height. And then, only then we're going to change the height of this. So I want something like 250 for my bottom menu, all right? So, and what I what I do as well is add a horizontal layout group, which is going to let me put my buttons there. Now for my buttons, I have already downloaded uh, from the asset store some uh, UI. You can download or create your own UI. I'm gonna give a link to the UI I, I downloaded if you wanna use the same one. So. All right, this is going to be called, I'm going to change the name of this to uh, bottom menu. And inside here, we're going to create an image, uh, which is going to be, or even better, we're going to create a button. All right, that button uh, you see is right there. What we want to do is click on um, bottom menu and we want to align the children from the middle center or from uh, lower, uh, sorry, not lower center, um, middle left, sorry. And uh, we want to control the child size so it resizes it. And then we're going to duplicate this button to have three buttons. We're going to have three options. Now, we're going to change the sprite of these three buttons for the sprite that we downloaded. So here you see we have this circle kind of thing. I'm going to use this one. And then if you click on preserve aspect here in the image, they're going to be round. Now I'm just going to quickly change the text inside each of these. And uh, I'm going to change this to something like 30, uh, maybe 35 It's better. I'm going to change the color to I'm going to change the color to white and uh, maybe 40 is even better. And then I'm going to change to change color. The second button is going to say quit and we're just going to have those two options. Now that's our bottom menu. With this, we're going to create the pop-ups. So now we're going to create our pop-up element, right? So here in the canvas as well, we're going to create a UI object. 
I'm going to start with an image. And this image is going to be what is going to block all the other uh, UI elements. So for this, we have to stretch it. So I'm stretching it and I want to change the color so we can see through it. So I'm going to change it to black and something uh, with just a little, uh, you can make it completely clear so people don't actually see there is a blocking element. But I like to have something with a little bit transparency uh, so I can see there is um, something blocking my other buttons. I'm going to rename these to pop up. And uh, I'm going to start adding more elements inside. So another image, I'm going to change the source image to this panel that they have in this uh, UI set. Where is it? This one. And I'm going to set native size. Native size is a little bit too big for me. So I'm just going to multiply these for, I don't know, times 0.65. And if I multiply this on the height and on the, well, you can preserve the aspect and it's going to do like that, but we can also multiply times 0.65 on each side and we'll have that. Now I also want to rename this, um, maybe I'll call it panel. Uh, inside the panel, we need to add several things. The text, which is going to be the message uh, and I want the text to start at the top left. So for that, we need to stretch this as well. So it's going to occupy the size of the panel. And then we, let me just do this quickly. You can follow along uh, 40 and I'm going to give it a margin like 50 and 50 from the top and 50 from the right and 50 from the bottom. So it's never going to go out the, those margins. Um, so this is usually a message like, are you sure or something like that, but we're going to change the message dynamically. Now we need to add two more things inside the panel and it, it is two buttons and we want to have those buttons down there. So we can use these to quickly do that. Um, just put it there in the bottom and then move it to the side, like minus 150, maybe more minus 200. That seems to be right. And we want to change the sprite of this button. I'm going to use, I use this one. Uh, I think it's cool. I'm just going to use that and set native size. Again, the native size is way too big. So I'm going to multiply this maybe times 0.5 and same here times 0.5. And that's a relatively good size, I guess. Um, we're going to change this to 35 or even more 40 and we're going to say something like no and I don't know you can write whatever message you want because we're going to change that message dynamically from our code. Now that we set up that button we want to duplicate it. Uh, we can say this this is like no and yes or button one button two just call them whatever you want to call them um, and I'm going to move this one uh, to 200 and I'm going to change the text of course as well but I mean you can just leave it as it is because uh, we're going to change the message from the code so all right we have this uh, window but now we have to give some functionality to it so make sure you go watch the next video. The link is, uh, as I said earlier, in the description. We're gonna add different functions to the buttons there. So before you go, make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. See you there.